Hello everyone, welcome to the Java course. When we run Java programs, it is possible that it faces some kind of um, runtime errors. If we want the program to um, handle the runtime errors gracefully, we need the exception handling techniques so that we control the way um, to handle the runtime errors. So the idea is like this. We need to handle the runtime errors gracefully so that the program will, will not come to a halt due to a runtime error. And a typical approach is using the try and catch approach. Now uh, let me show you one example of this um, try and catch approach. I want to uh, 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 accept a user input which is expected to be an integer. So I would do something like this. So I need a scan object and I would like to accept the user input. That's why the actual parameter of the scan object is system.in. Of course, I need to import the scanner class. And then I would like to prompt the user to input a number. I would like the user to input an integer. And then I would have a, a primitive data type called int and the variable of that primitive data is a. Usually we can do something like this in order to, to uh, accept the user input. And after accepting the us user input, I can print it out. But it is possible that the user is not careful enough by giving me a string instead of an integer. So this next int method can make the program stop due to the runtime error caused by the um, user who gives me a string instead of an integer. So in this case, I need to uh, take this situation carefully by using the try um, approach. So here the try block is helping me to really inspect the uh, input value coming from the next int method. So the idea is like this. I want to check whether the value of a is really an integer. If the value of a is not an integer, I would catch the exception immediately without printing the number. So when this text in method gives me a string instead of an integer, I don't do the printing. I will go to the catch block immediately. So what's the meaning of the catch block? Let me do it now. In this situation, I would expect an exception called input mismatch exception. And it is a, an exception class in Java. In order to uh, make use of this exception class, I need to import it first. Oh, 
Okay, the exception class is imported. Um, ex here is the um, object reference variable whose um, data type is this exception class. Okay. When the next int method th doesn't give me an integer, I will go to the catch part immediately by printing this statement out. I'm also able to print out the exception um, thrown by the, uh, try, uh, uh, the try block. I will show you the exception content later when I uh, go to the catch part later. I can also tell the user to try the input again next time. And whether or not um, the value given by the next int method is really an integer or not, I can also do the um, remaining um, part of my program. What does it mean by that? I would like to show you that whether the exception happens or not. The um, code after the try and catch a block will still be executed. Of course, I need to close the scan object after I've used it uh, in my program. So let me try to save it and run it to see the exception uh, situation. Okay, let me input an integer first. For example, I input 9. When I press enter, what will I get? I'm able to print out the um, value because the xint method doesn't throw an exception. Okay, and the number is 9. and after the printing of the number stored in variable A, I'm going to print out the final printing statement shown here. Okay, So this is the situation when I input an integer. How about inputting a string instead of an integer? Let me run again to see the effect. For example, I say hello. Now it is not an integer. So uh, the next int method would um, throw an exception object whose data type is um, input mismatch ex exception. Okay. When the value obtained by the next int method is not really an integer, I will go to the catch part immediately. So the printing action of the value co contained in variable A will not be executed. Instead, I will go directly to the catch block. So I will print out the statement here, which tells the user that the num uh, the value is not a number. I can also print out the exception object um, content, which is um, this line. It simply tells me that I um, have a problem with the input mismatch issue. I can also print out the try again next time statement. And after the catch part, I'm still able to print out the final statement in my um, driver program. That means this part is executed whether or not the exception happens. Okay. So uh, you may ask me how to remember this kind of ex exception when the um, 
in the method has to handle. I can do a simple um, illustration for this view. I can go to the uh, version 11 API specification on docs, uh, doc oracle.com and I go to the search part and I type exception. You can see in the search result that there are a lot of, a lot of um, exception types. Okay, so if you want to learn the required exception in handling your situations, you can always check the possible exception types uh, by using the search box on the right hand side of this page. Okay. So let me go to the input mismatch type, which is this one. When I click on it, I can see the documentation for the input mismatch exception um, class. Okay. So this is the way we can always check the possible exception types the Java program is able to handle. And when we go back to the program, we can also um, click on the button here to see that we have a breakpoint shown on this point. That means the program is really stopped by the input match exception. This is the end of, of the video. If you have any questions about my video, feel free to leave your comments on the comment section below the video. If you like this video, please give me a like and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.